My name is Akira. I'm the only freshman in the literature club of my high school. It's a small club, with only one second year student and a couple of third year students besides myself. So, the others are not here yet, it seems. I was the first one to arrive in the club room again. It may be a small room, but it's only our club members that use it, so it is very relaxing. I always felt this room to be kind of like a sanctuary. She is the only second year club member, Shizuka Senpai. She's as small as a junior high school student, but has a mature look in her eyes. She has a beautiful elegance about her, like a fairy princess. To tell the truth, the reason I joined this literature club is because of Shizuka Senpai's work, which was published in the club magazine. Her writing is like pleasant music, and it speaks to my heart so naturally. I had thought that the writer would be a lady as elegant as a butterfly, but now there is not even a trace left of the fantasy I had. Ah, Shizuka Senpai? Mm hmm? Senpai? I'm concentrating. Ah, sorry. Wait a minute, no! It's hard for me to read when you're leaning over me. Don't worry about it. Even if she says so, I can't concentrate because I can feel her body heat. Mm. Hey, Senpai! Come on, don't freak out. Ugh, she's a good Senpai. My image of her has completely changed compared to at first. But I'm not going to let her treat me like a toy forever. Today's the day I will turn against her. Uh, if you say I shouldn't freak out about this. Hmm? You mean... You mean it's okay for you if I lie down on your lap then? <laughs> Let's see how she reacts. Even though she acts so cool all the time, I'm sure this will make her shy. Come on, let's see your blushing face. No problem. Huh? All right, come here. Uh, uh... Are you coming? Ah, uh, well, no thank you. Okay then. Uh. Hey guys! Third year senpais! Oh god, if they see us like this, they'll think we're... Hey, how are you? When did she move? She moved instantaneously! Huh? Hakira-kun, your face looks red. Are you feeling sick? No, it's nothing. <laughs> <sighs> the only time Shizuka-senpai, who is usually cool and reserved, acts in a strange way with me is when we are alone in the club room. So, the battle between me and Shizuka-senpai always takes place before the other members of the club arrive. Today was another day, another win for Senpai. I'll definitely beat her back tomorrow and finally see her blushing face. Goodbye, Shizuka-senpai. Oh, goodbye. Enjoy your moment of calm while you can. Today, I have a secret plan to beat you. The timing of the attack is important. Natural. Just act natural. Senpai, do you want to play a game with me? Idiot! That wasn't natural at all! Does she suspect something? Sure. What kind of game do you want to play? This is it. So we eat this snack from both ends without using our hands, and the first one to let go of it loses. Oh, like you see in comics sometimes. Okay, let's do it. Haha, <laughs> I got her! It's a game of fighting your own shyness, but I have a secret plan. My goal is not to win the game against her. It's to make her get shy. And I am determined not to give up, no matter what. Then she will surely have to give up eventually. There's no way I'm going to lose this game. Shizuka-senpai, you are defeated from the very beginning. But that's too simple a game, isn't it? Let's play with this additional local rule that I know. A local... rule? We'll keep our eyes closed during the game. Keep our eyes closed? What's wrong? Should we not? <sighs> it's okay. I'll play with that rule. Oh, how very manly of you. All right, I'll go first then. Mm -hmm. Damn, I don't know how far I've gotten. Never thought it could be this thrilling with your eyes closed. <laughs> what? This soft touch. Is this... Uh, what? I switched to using my hand right at the moment you closed your eyes. That's against the rules. You're right. The win is yours. So, Akira, you ate the snack all the way to the edge. You wanted to kiss me that much, I see. <sighs> the crafty schemer drowns in his own scheme. Damn, but... What's wrong? You're blushing. Um, because your finger... My finger? I... 
hissed your finger, so I'm sure she'll make fun of me again, blushing like this. Huh? Her expression! Senpai, are you being shy by any chance? Huh? What? No! no not at all! But you were blushing too. I'm not! I, I just remembered something! Did I win? Or did I just lose? But... Uh, I see. So, this must be her weakness. After that, the relationship between me and Shizuka started to become competitive. Shizuka Senpai, you've changed your lip balm to a colored one. It looks nice on you. You look pretty. <laughs> just as I thought. Despite her cool personality, Shizuka Senpai is highly intolerant of romantic surprises and of being praised as a girl. As for me, I'm not used to complimenting girls in person either. So every time I do something like that to Shizuka, I get embarrassed as well. <sighs> oh. And so the days go by until February. It's that day again this year. It's kind of a natural disaster. That's right, it's Valentine's Day. Huh. I wish Coco would just disappear from the world entirely. Hmm? Shizuka Senpai? What's up? Akira, you're here. Here, I'll give this to you since you're here. What? <laughs> what is it? It's Schrodinger's chocolate. <laughs> huh? There is a thought experiment called Schrodinger's cat. You put a cat in a device that has a 50% chance of emitting poison gas into a box. After an hour, the cat may be considered simultaneously both alive and dead. Obligatory chocolate or a chocolate of true love? Well, see you at the club. If you relate this to a cat in a box, there are two possibilities. That the chocolate is just obligatory and meaningless, or it's an expression of real love. Is this a new... game? But it's not like Shizuka to prepare props. Anyway, I'll open it. This... What was in there was a commercial chocolate snack which is sold everywhere. If you think about it normally, it's obviously obligatory chocolate, but... Oh, so you came. The reason why she gave me this chocolate is... Shizuka Senpai, would you play the game with me again? With the chocolate you just gave me. The game I challenged her to before. If you think that this chocolate could be both obligatory or the real deal, with this, the answer should become clear. Well then, I'll start. Okay. In this game where the first to let go of the snack with their mouth loses, the result was a draw. Hey, so, um... I yes? Just to confirm, so we are going to be dating, right? Ah, uh, I guess. Yes, something like that? What kind of answer was that? I thought to myself. But I couldn't think of the right words spinning in my head. I can't do feminine things though, you know? Cooking, dressing up... Haha, <laughs> I'm not expecting you to do all that. Hey, you should expect a bit at least! S sorry Shizuka was talkative, as if she was being shy. But it was cut short. The silence was endearing in its own way too, but... I had something to say too. Shizuka... Mm, what? I like you. What? I... I, I yes! Thank you! <laughs> what is that reaction? Sh shut up! I'm not used to these things! Well then, I like you too! Our relationship since then actually hasn't changed that much. It's still the same in those few moments that we are alone in the club room. Shizuka acts sweet with me. But now I feel more in love with the time we can share in this little old club room. I love it even more now than before.